Have you noticed how our camera seems to be stuck in 2006 mode? Very noisy, very grainy, and very choppy video. Especially when compared to the mobile counterparts. While many people have said that to solve this issue, you might want to get a DSLR camera like this and a capture card. Unfortunately, that seems to be quite drastic and quite overkill uh, for a problem that not too many people are going to spend that much money on to solve. However, what if I told you that you can go from this to this? Now, the only thing that you're going to need is just a smartphone, your laptop, and for them to be connected over the same network. Not only does this work for recording videos, but you can also use it in Zoom calls or any sort of video chatting like Skype or FaceTime. Well, I haven't tested it with FaceTime because I don't own Apple products, but I assume that it will work just the same. The technology is very simple. Just install an application on your device that allows it to act as an IP cam, uh, which means that if it's connected in the same network as your laptop, you will be able to see that IP cam as a camera. Now, the image that is being recorded on your phone will get processed as normal and then it gets streamed over the network and it's still almost instantaneous if you have a fast enough internet connection. Not only can you use this uh, to record videos of yourself talking for some reason, but you can also use it for Zoom calls, Skype, and even FaceTime. Well, I haven't tested it on FaceTime, but the technology should work just the same. Now, the reason that laptop webcams are terrible is because there is no processing in between. The laptop webcam just records the image and because it's connected via USB 2.0, there isn't that much data throughput. Therefore, the image is often low resolution, gets very compressed, and it just gets stored in memory. As opposed to a smartphone, that captures the image, then it sends it to its SOC, which sometimes has an ISP or image processing, sorry, image signal processing that is part of it, of the SOC architecture, which produces wonderful images and gets the most out of the sensor before it sends it into storage, which is quite fast. Or in this case, it sends it over the network. Right now I'm using a Nexus 5X, which is quite old at this point. It came out in 2015 and it is still a thousand times better than a webcam. Now the application that I use to accomplish all of this is called Idiom Webcam. It's not exclusive, it's not the only one, but it's the only one that I've been stuck with or that I liked enough not to change. And I use it every day for Zoom, for schooling and work. Now it is very simple. All you have to do is go to the Play Store, install Idiom Webcam, then you have to install uh, you have to install it on your PC. So go on Google, type Idiom Webcam and install it. And that's it. If your smartphone and your camera are on the same network, then you should be able to install it and use it with Zoom, Skype, or any other video calling platform because the system recognizes it as a webcam. Now you may be wondering, how did I mount it? I mean isn't it a phone? Shouldn't it fall? How did I mount it? It's very simple. It, you're not going to like this if you're an OCD uh, person, but I just took paper clips and I bent them. All I did was bent the paper clip like this and it would hang from one side and my phone would just hang here or my phone would just hang here and I made two of those and it's almost flawless now it does cut into the screen a little bit which is something that I don't really mind because if I use this it's gonna be for an active video call where I'm not gonna be doing much more and the part that it does block it's nothing that interferes with the UI because to close the application is to the right and the menu options are usually to the left. But right there where the cell phone stands, it's not that bad. Also, you may not like it there. So if you have like a tripod like this one, a little one, you can just stack it like on top of boxes or something, or you can put it in like this big tripod and just point it down towards you from the corner 
Now before you say that the paper clip might scratch your screen, you gotta use these paper clips that are protected with a plastic coating like this one. Let me see if I can get it off with one hand. Yeah, so if you can see this is just clear plastic around the actual metal so that you don't scratch your screen.